This patouche salad is a combination of fresh, healthy ingredients and it gets its amazing flavor from a blend of olive oil, lemon juice, crushed garlic, sumac, pomegranate molasses, dried mint, salt and pepper. But the best part for me is the crisp pita croutons that top the salad. And I will show you two ways to make them in this video. Welcome back to Craving Soup Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. I'm making a very healthy salad today. We're going to be making fatouche. Fatouche is one of my favorite Arabic salads. My mother used to make this all the time. Also, we used to get takeout when we lived in the United Arab Emirates. And I have really fond memories of the salad. What I love is the crispy pita that's topped on top of the salad. Kind of like a futon, but so delicious. I want to give props to Feel Good Foodie. I've used some tips and tricks from her videos. You make sure to follow her. I will leave her link at the end of this video and in the description. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. These pita croutons can be made ahead. They can be fried or baked. And I'm first going to separate the pita and cut it into squares. This is Arabic pita and it's much thinner than a Greek pita and I like to use scissors to cut it. I've only used one pita for this recipe but you can make more and store it in an airtight container if you wish. The first method and the method I prefer is to shallow fry the pita. Add a little olive oil to a frying pan and allow the pita to absorb the oil and crisp up. You can use any oil for this but the olive flavor is amazing. Turn these over, lightly salt them and keep them aside. For the next batch, I'm going to toss the pita in a little olive oil and salt. Bake it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes till it's golden brown. Please note that you should watch the pita in your oven as it can go from golden brown to dark very quickly. Now for the salad. I have a few leaves of romaine lettuce here. I rinse this and I'm going to give it a good spin in my salad spinner to make sure that all the water has been removed. To make the salad dressing in a bowl, I'm going to add 3 tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to follow this with about 2 tablespoons of lemon juice. Add 1 tablespoon of crushed garlic, 1 teaspoon of sumac, 1 teaspoon of pomegranate molasses and I'm going to give this a mix. Add half a teaspoon of dried mint, half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of fresh cracked black pepper. Give this a good mix and keep it aside. This can be made ahead and stored in your refrigerator. When the pita is ready, take it out of the oven. Let's compare the two side by side. Visually, they look the same, but I prefer the taste of the shallow fried pita. Now let's work on the salad. I'm using small Persian cucumbers and I'm going to slice these. I'm also going to slice some radish. I'm also going to use a small piece of green pepper. I'm just going to chop this into small pieces. I have some fresh parsley and mint here and I'm going to roughly chop it. I also have two spring onions. I'm going to slice these spring onions from the white bulb right up to the green leaves using the entire thing. The lettuce is now nice and dry. I'm just going to cut this in half and then cut them into smaller pieces. I'm also going to chop one tomato. To assemble, add the lettuce, 
I've used two cups of chopped lettuce at the bottom. I'm going to top this with one cup of chopped parsley and mint. I'm also going to add one cup of tomato, half a cup of sliced spring onions, two cups of sliced cucumbers, half a cup of diced green pepper, and half a cup of sliced radish. Now I'm going to pour the dressing all over and toss to coat. Before serving, just top it with the crispy pita and enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings and Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for fatouche. It is such a great salad to make. You can make parts of it ahead of time and then you can just put it together before your guests arrive or before you serve it for your family dinner. If you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. I really love hearing from you. Also, if you love my videos, share them with your family and friends so they can enjoy it as well. And be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and don't forget also follow me on TikTok. Until I see you next time, do take care. Happy eating. Bye.